Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys all had a really good week. Obviously, normally today I should be uploading my weekly home fragrance roundup, but um, that's not going to happen this week because Stella and I actually managed to get the flu. Somehow Craig has escaped it. I don't know how, but he did. Um, Stella and I had the flu. We went and got tested on Monday, and this year we decided to go with flu type A, so um, exciting for us. <laughs> Last year it was type B, so, you know, you always have to just, just round out the various strains of flu that you, um, present with, right? Anyway, so I really didn't do a whole lot of candle burning this week or wax melt, melting, if you will. So today... I am just going to give you guys a review of one of the new scents that was recently released from Homeworks for the spring and summer. Obviously, we're talking about almond flour. Um, Harry started releasing the new candles on QVC a couple weeks ago, and as soon as he did, um, I definitely placed an order for a couple of sets. Um, I got the almond flour that is in front of you here, and then I also picked up the guanabana daiquiri. I hope to possibly have a review of that up for you guys tomorrow. Um, we'll see if I can get around to doing that review as well. Um, but yeah, I was really excited when things started popping up. I have shown a little bit of restraint so far, only because I know there is so much yet to come. Um, I don't know what else is going to be released when, but... I do know that there are probably going to be other things coming that I will want to try and I want to make sure that I allocate my candle budget accordingly. So um, yeah, I just started with two and um, as soon as the other ones start coming then I will take the plunge then. Um, also Harry I believe is going to start um, presenting on HSN in April sometime. There will be some scents that are exclusive to HSN and some that are exclusive to QVC, but same shipping situation with both companies because HSN and QVC are basically the same. They're owned by the same parent company or whatever. Um, so that's not gonna change, which is annoying. Truthfully, I wish that Harry would just either sell the candles himself, like on his own website, or I wish that he would just go into a retail location and sell there. Um, that would honestly be my preference. I just, I don't really like dealing with QVC and I feel like their pricing is so up and down and random a lot of times that it's just not consistent. Um, there's a lot of stuff that will pop up on as is that is sometimes more expensive than like some sets that are new, you know, that haven't been like returned or, you know, whatever. It's just, it's weird. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of over QVC. Honestly, the only reason that I'm still shopping with them is because it's the only place that I can get <laughs> works candles. And you guys know that I love them. So anyway, there's a little side rant from me. Um, obviously, I'm still feeling a little ornery because I'm still getting over the flu. So maybe ignore that little rant there but yeah so the almond flower does come in a set of two of the same candles so if you decide to purchase this by the way I will link it down below you will get two almond flower candles not um, one almond flower and one magnolia which is what I was originally thinking was gonna happen um, but it was packaged differently it's two of the same so they are 18 ounces. Um, they do come in this really nice um, packaging with these gorgeous like um, cut glass style vessels. So the inside of this is obviously mirrored um, so you can't see through to the top. I was really excited that he came back with these specific vessels again because I missed out on them last year. And I think they're absolutely stunning. I'm actually really excited to put floral arrangements in this when I'm done with it. I'm going to go ahead and turn this one around here so that you can see that kind of like plaid etching that's in here. This is really beautiful glass, you guys. I love these containers so much. 
Um, I don't know that I love them more than the hobnail, but definitely um, just as beautiful as the hobnail. I kind of like the simplicity of these lines. Um, that really appeals to my like personal aesthetic. But um, anyway, I just think that's really beautiful. And then these lids just sit on top. There's no like rubber ring around the edge here. So don't go slamming this on top of here. Um, also, it just kind of rests on there. Um, so it can jiggle around. Um, be careful if you're like moving around with this lid and you're carrying this around the house or something that you don't accidentally tip it and then have this fall off. So um, Vessel is obviously gorgeous. Um, this, by the way, is the start of my fourth day burn. I have been burning this candle for at least four hours each stretch that I've had it lit. Um, I have had it downstairs in my kitchen nook. Um, if you're familiar with my downstairs from like holiday home tours and stuff, the uh, the kitchen, the nook, and the family room are all kind of a big open concept area. So it's a, a with really high ceilings. So it is definitely a large space to fill with fragrance and. Um, I will say I'm just going to start out with the strength and throw on this one and then I'm going to go into the description which is a little bit backwards from what I normally do. But I will say that I do wish this was just a teensy bit stronger. The throw is a good solid I would say seven. Um, the strength I wish I could say it was a seven but it's not quite a seven. Probably six six and a half. I wish this one was a little bit stronger because it's so beautiful. This is such a gorgeous scent, you guys. Um, what I think I'm going to have to do with this one, I will have to burn two at the same time, probably one in the kitchen on the island and one in the family room. I feel like that is going to give me the exact strength that I want with this particular scent. But on its own, it is just a really nice kind of neutral, beautiful gourmand background scent that I don't think anyone would find offensive at all. It, this is such kind of a pleasant gourmand, like background type fragrance. Um, but I do want to let you guys know that the strength and throw are, are a little weak for my liking on this one. Um, so, um, doesn't mean that I don't love it because I do. Let's talk about the scent description. So the description reads that almond flower, which by the way, I don't think there was ever a more deceiving name for a candle than almond flower, but the notes are almond blossom, creamy pistachio, orange flower, and vanilla bean. Okay, you guys, what you actually get from this, there is not a floral note to be found by my nose. And I have stuck my nose in this when it is both, you know, on cold as well as when it's burning. There is no floral note. I don't smell any of that orange flower. I don't smell almond blossom, although I don't think that I've ever like smelled an almond blossom in the wild anyway. There's just not a floral note. I don't think it exists in here. But this is a gorgeous, creamy, nutty, beautiful pistachio scent with that creamy vanilla base to it. It is absolute perfection if you love pistachio scents. Um, I'm telling you right now, this is the best pistachio candle that I have ever smelled. And I normally actually don't like pistachio scents. Um, fun fact, pistachios are my least favorite nut, but for some reason, this, this scent right here just rocks my world. It is such a sophisticated gourmand scent. It's like Harry took pistachios and somehow made them fancy. I don't know how he did it, but these are some fancy nuts, you guys. It just smells so beautiful and creamy. There is nothing bitter about this. There is nothing harsh about it. Um, it just honestly, it's it smells like something 
edible. It really does. Um, I don't know what you would make with pistachio. I think people make pistachio cookies. This doesn't have like a cookie note to it. It is that creamy nut scent um, with that beautiful vanilla base that Harry does. Um, I'm really still hoping that he comes out, by the way, with some kind of vanilla collection soon because you guys know I love my basic vanillas and he just does vanilla so well. He just needs an entire like lineup of like four different types of vanillas. I think if Harry did that, like he would honestly make my life. Um, but yeah, if you are at all turned off by the fact that this could be a floral, don't be. If you were hoping that this was a floral, you're gonna be disappointed. There, I don't smell a floral note in this at all. I thought maybe once I was burning it, I would pick up on something, but no, absolutely not. Um, it is just, it is more gourmand than it is floral. Um, but just really, just think of a very sophisticated, creamy pistachio blended with vanilla, um, just very soft, very pretty. Um, again, not bitter, not offensive in any kind of way. And also the packaging is stellar on this. I even love this kind of neutral, it's like a bl not blushy nude, but it's like a really pretty nude wax, nude colored wax. It's the aesthetics I think are gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And in terms of the wicks, so there you guys go. You can kind of see the top there. Um, so the wicks that are on this particular candle are, they are not the same ones that I saw on the candles last year, quite honestly. So I do think that he has changed out the wicks for sure. Um, I have not trimmed these wicks at all. Um, even with the little tiny mushroom tops that formed, I just leave them on there and I just relight the candle. Um, the most that I would do is get some cuticle scissors and trim off just the tiniest bit off the top. But I have found that with these candles, do not get aggressive with trimming the wicks. Like you don't have to, to begin with. But if you do want to trim them, just take the cuticle scissors to them and nip off that very little bit at the top and then just leave it. Don't don't go getting like fancy or aggressive with your scissors because there's absolutely no reason to. Um, you guys, this one is a huge winner for me. I will be buying backups of it. And um, this is going to be a staple for me for sure from Slatkin um, in terms of, or Homeworks, in terms of um, 2019 releases. It's beautiful. I cannot wait to see what else is coming down the pipeline. Um... As soon as I know of anything, I will let you guys know, obviously. I don't have any insider information, and also this was not a PR item. Um, I bought this myself, just like I've bought a ton of the Homeworks candles also. Um, they're not doing PR anymore, so if you missed my rant about that last week, they're not doing PR. So um, anyone that you see talking about these candles, they were purchased, so... Yeah. Anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions. I will link this one down below. Um, I didn't, oh, I don't think I told you guys about the price. And can you tell my voice is totally leaving me? So these are currently retailing for $42.84 with shipping and handling of $5.50, which is like ridiculous, but whatever. You guys know how I feel about that. Um, I think they are doing, they always do this easy pay. Um, I don't ever do the easy pay option because... I tell you what, I would be really upset if I was still paying off an easy pay and I was already done with the candle. That is not me. I would rather pay for stuff in full. <laughs> if I don't have the money, then I'm just not going to buy it. So, um, but yeah, there is the easy pay option if you are someone who does not mind that that route with QVC. Um, but yeah, forty two eighty four. I will link it down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know if you pick this one up, what your thoughts are, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.